Christmas and happy holidays from uh, Hickory Creek uh, students and staff. Uh, we're glad you're joining us today for our trees around the world. Uh, our theme for our school this year is uh, around the world. So we thought uh, in the nature of the season this would be a great opportunity to uh, learn a bit, a little bit more about some customs from around the world and what they may do at, at Christmas or during the holiday season. So again, we thank you for joining us today and hope you enjoy learning uh, a little bit more about these trees.
until it splits open and the sweets pour out. Then the children rush to pick up as many sweets as they can. Hi, this tree is, uh, represents Norway, and I have a friend that lives in Norway where some of these ornaments came from, and I asked him to remind me some of the traditional things that they do, and um, I sent him a picture of the tree. He said it's a typical, it could be a typical Norwegian tree, and some of the essential traditions in Norway are that all of the churches um, all the bells toll in Norway on Christmas Eve at 5 p.m. and that signals when they ring in Christmas. Then most families have prepared a scrumptious meal and they eat around um, five, uh, shortly after 5 p.m. and usually there are three to four generations that sit together at the table and then after the meal the children are running around in anticipation of opening their Christmas presents, which they, they open typically on Christmas Eve. And that happens usually around 7 or 8 p.m. And usually in most families, maybe not so much in modern times, well, in 2020, <laughs> but in years past, it's typical for the families to read the Christmas story from it, from the Bible in Luke chapter 2 and before they open the gifts and while opening the gifts or slightly after they open they have coffee and Christmas cookies and traditionally the women in the family would make seven types of cookies or treats for Christmas and then on Christmas Day many people go to church at 11 a.m. for the Christmas service and then some people go to a service at 6 p.m. to listen to Christmas hymns being played and they think about the meaning of Christmas, of Jesus Christ being sent to earth in the form of man. And he said that Christmas traditions are changing now and it's becoming more secular, but um, a lot of the ornaments that they make are felt ornaments like this little doll and my friend on a sheep farm and he makes these hearts with the traditional stamping method that they've used in Norway for generations. And um, the angel up there is made from sheep skin that they raised on their farm in Norway. And um, I just feel really honored to be able to represent Norway with our tree here. Thank you. Cuba belongs to the North American continent and shares borders with the United States of America. Cuba es un país en el continente americano y también está cerca de los Estados Unidos. Cuba was a Spanish colony until the Spanish-American War in 1898. Cuba le, le pertenecía a los españoles hasta la guerra de 1898. Cuba is the largest country in the Caribbean. Cuba es el país más grande en el Caribe. The main island of Cuba is the largest island in North America. La isla más grande es Cuba, que está en North America. Baseball is the most popular sport in Cuba. Cuba es famoso por el deporte de el baseball. Sugar cane is one of the largest exports from Cuba. There are more than 600 beautiful beaches throughout Cuba. Hay más de 600 diferentes playas en Cuba. At Christmas time, many Cubans incorporate palm trees into their decorations. En la Navidad, muchos cubanos usan las, los árboles para decoración. Cuba was a long time atheist country, but in 1997, Christmas was restored as traditional holiday during the visit of Pope John Paul II. Cuba era un país ateo, pero en 1997, la Navidad regresó a ser una. Eh, un, Pope John Paul II. Algo tradicional. <laughs> The Christmas celebrations are for many Cubans a family feast. The emphasis is on the joy and gathering with the family. Para los cubanos, Navidad es una celebración para mucho, para mucha comida y para estar cerca de la familia. On Christmas Eve, family and friends gather together and have a traditional Christmas feast with roasted pig, black beans and rice, fried plantains, yuca and desserts like rice pudding or rum cake. En Nochebuena, que es como se celebra, 
muchos amigos y familias se van juntos y eh, tienen la Navidad con cuerpo asado, frijoles negros, arroz, platanito, yuca y arroz con leche. Ghana celebrates Christmas from December 20th to the first week of January. Over 66 languages are spoken in Ghana, so they have many different customs. Ghana produces the second largest amount of cocoa. December is the time to harvest cocoa. Chocolate is made from cocoa beans. Christmas Eve night, they have church services with dancing and playing drums. Children often put on a nativity play, a choir sing. Our theme is around the world, and so the office chose to do Germany. The reason they chose to do Germany is my mother was born in Germany. The lights that are on the tree, um, my mother would always use on our Christmas tree. Um, they just they just clip on, but you know back in the uh, a long time ago they would use candles. Uh, a lot of the decorations are homemade. Like these, these gingerbread cookies, they're called Lebkuchen, and um, this one says Frohe Weihnachten, that means Merry Christmas in German. They might put uh, gingerbread cookies that the children decorated. They might make different things out of straw, like stars. Um, their trees are usually very, very simple. Um, Christmas trees originated in Germany. They, um, on December the 6th, it's called St. Nicholas Day, and that's when St. Nicholas would come and he'd put treats in the children's shoes. So we have a couple of um, shoes on display with treats from St. Nicholas. Um, the, traditionally in Germany, they would um, celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve instead of Christmas Day. Oftentimes, the Christmas tree would be decorated that night. Then the, the doors would be open and Santa Claus has come. And, um, you know, that's when they would celebrate it. In Germany, another thing that they do, they have advent calendars or um, little uh, towers like that displayed down there. Um, the advent calendars are ways to count down until um, Christmas. They might um, have chocolate or some sort of treat behind the day. Uh, let's see. Let me see if there's anything I'm leaving out. Okay. Um, another tradition is there's a glass market in Germany. They make all kinds of, um, of uh, glass ornaments and things. Father Christmas is called Weihnachtsmann. Um, he, you know, would come on Christmas Eve um, with St. Nicholas on December the 6th, if the children were not good, the Krampus might come and, and you know, and he'd wear chains and he'd come with uh, St. Nicholas and he would come to talk to the children that had been naughty. Um, another tradition in Germany is to have star sanga, and those are star singers or people that go around house to house, kind of like in America we have carolers. So those are just a few of the um, traditions in Germany for Christmas.